Alright guys, so today we're going to be creating some RPG enemy sprites, but to do that we're actually going to be using a tool called the Horizontal Symmetry Tool here on A Sprite. If I click that, you'll notice it puts a blue little line right down the middle of my canvas here. And if I click and drag on this, what it does is it just mirrors things across that. So you'll notice over here, right, this shows our previewed version, but you can actually see, right, it's just mirroring it left to right like this. So we're actually going to be using Earthbound, uh, a video game for the Super Nintendo as inspiration, but also using things like Dragon Quest sprites. Um, if you've played that before, Dragon Warrior, that kind of stuff as inspiration. I'm going to start with some random blobs. Don't really know what direction this is going to take, but we'll see where we end up. Alright, so I've created four different little sprites here using 64 by 64 canvas. Now, to really think about which ones I'd like to use, I think I would like to use this one, this one, and this one, just because I think that they would be the funnest ones to kind of evolve and turn into characters. I'm really not sure what direction I'm headed in yet, but I feel like this one maybe is a little bit too self-contained, and I'm not really sure I want to head in a direction with that one. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and cut this little guy out. And uh, we're just going to evolve these three into something more detailed. Now, I'll focus in on them as I progress, but let's go ahead and hop into them. Alright, so I feel pretty good about this sprite at this point. Um, my hope was that to use the outline that I already had to make it look like a guy who had his pants pulled all the way up to around his neck, and these were to be his pockets. However, I feel like there are some limitations with the border that I've created here. So one thing that I think that I'm going to do actually is go ahead and just stretch this sprite out so I can create more of a collar here and kind of lift these pockets up some. But this is kind of where we're at without the sprite being finished, but we'll just go ahead and modify this now. I kind of like the modifications. I think it adds a little bit more to it. A little weird, <laughs> obviously. It made me laugh though, and I feel like that's always the idea of a successful piece is whenever it can make me laugh. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, and so gonna be honest here, this one actually looked a lot like just a ghost, just kind of doing a T-pose or something initially. So I didn't feel like that was very creative. So what I wanna do is just take it and flip it upside down and do something a little bit different with it. So you can see here we head in this direction of making this kind of weird chef looking guy with his ears all stretched out. But we'll show that place out as it goes along. Just wanted to mention that I flipped this upside down just because I didn't like the initial starting date. Alright, so then I hit a stopping point on this one. Feel pretty happy with it, pretty confident with where it came out. Um, don't really want to harp on it, we'll add stuff back to it later. But let's go ahead and get started on this next one. I feel like this one looked a lot like a face to begin with, and I feel like that maybe was kind of an easy starting point. But I didn't want to give myself kind of an out and just take an easy route whenever it came to this. So I actually steered away from the face bits of this. We're actually going to just steer away in a direction of making this look more like an armchair. I think that was my next idea. Um, and kind of make it some kind of character sitting in an armchair. That's the direction I end up going in, so uh, let's watch it happen.
All right, guys, so then we've come to the end of this sprite here. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I uh, really didn't have any expectation for it other than it was going to be a chair. Let me turn this little blue goblin guy kind of sitting in the chair here. Um, probably what I'm going to do at this point now is probably just take a little bit of time since I kind of just worked off the silhouette shapes I created initially using that mirror tool, right? Um, probably what I'm going to do is actually just warp and modify these a little bit to make them a little bit more dynamic and kind of adjust and tweak bits and pieces. But I'm pretty happy with how the little bits come out. But at this point, let's just tidy up around the edges and I might even add some animation to it. So let's hop into it. happy with how the animation turned out on this one uh thank you guys for sticking around this long i hope you enjoyed the little time lapse something new i've kind of just figured out how to do uh if you like the video make sure to like it if you dislike the video sorry <laughs> and if uh you want more stuff like this then subscribe to the channel i post some more pixel art stuff all the time thanks guys bye